Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to carry with AP Amumu Jungle. He may not be a high tier or even a mid tier. He's definitely a low tier, but you can still carry on him in some situations. We're playing him full AP and boy, do we got some big nuts in this game. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I was testing out a safe Amumu clear, which is a solo start three camp clear starting on Raptor since it's faster than Wolves. And then you can push out onto the map after you recall with Double refills up in a dark sill. Let's pull him into the bush just in case. You never know when someone's gonna do something bizarre. This way we don't die. Yeah, doing some Amumu. I wouldn't recommend him if you wanna play an AP jungler or a tank jungler, but you have a soft spot for this little guy. Like, I honestly do. I used to play a lot of him. If you go back and watch my older videos, I have a lot of videos where I was playing him like in D3, D2 plus in earlier seasons. But, uh, He's just been in a really rough spot because he's not a real tank and he doesn't do as much damage to something like an Echo Wood or Evelyn. His scuttle fights are pretty weak too. So here we just path where at least can't invade us. Most early game junglers want your red buff. They don't really want your blue. So we just started on our red side, cleared up. Looks like Lee Sin's bowling her. Nasus can't do anything. He's weak early game. Lee Sin tops cracked right now too. So we'll go back. We'll pick up a Dark Seal. We can hop over wolf wall, clear down into scuttle, or just take Elise's camps like her wraps and gomes that should still be up. We'll have our Q now. And it looks like we want to max E into Q. That's fine. We should have time to take the wolves. Scuttle hasn't even spawned in yet, so the red side three camp starts actually better for a move. I tried a blue side and it was a lot slower than this. I'll, uh, I'm a little hesitant to push out here for Scuttle. I'll pretty much just spawned in. If I see Elise, I'm going to have to run immediately. Yep. That's what I was worried about. She's not even strong right now. Like, she doesn't have the item advantage or anything. All right, I'll just take... Oh, she's only level two. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, she can't fight me at all there. You should try Atrox up. So much CC. Yeah, I imagine that'd be good with uh, something like a Yasuo for sure. You need to walk behind or try to body block. Yeah, we can't chase it. She's got her speed up she used. Mm, that's fine. We can take blue gromp same time. The main thing on a Mumu is you just want to like try to avoid taking your big buffs until you are at least level 2. You don't have two abilities taking the big buffs takes forever because you're easier fastest clear tool realistically i'll take the same time i have smite pull them out a little bit blue buff was in a bit deep I'll just go ahead and smite grump just gotta scale up this champion is a scaler you don't want to do anything too crazy and lose the early game you don't want to lose too hard, at least. You don't want to die. As long as you don't die, you can only fall so far behind. The least did mess up, though. At least didn't put it really far behind. We're going to go for Emax on AP Amumu. I'm just hop right over. Might as well. Leona's roaming mid. Renekton... Is missing a little bit of HP. Might be able to do this. Connected hard counters. He also, ooh, he's level six. He actually dashed the wrong way. He might actually kill us all, though. <laughs> he's actually gonna get a triple, even though he dashed the wrong way. That champion is cracked, dude. I was only level four, though, to be fair. I don't know how he hit level six this early. He hit it like pre five. Like 520. That is very, very early. I'll just go rocket belt. Rocket belt it is. I am happy with this clear. It felt really safe. You can do four camp clear, dark seal, fight for scuttle, or just keep clearing up and have double refills. Parthus juggle next game. Eh, he plays the same. I have some pretty solid guides out on him right now. You just go... Uh, like Leandri's into Hourglass into Double Burn is really easy. Main thing on Karthus is learning how to clear on him. The Josh person, welcome back to streaming. I 
people move is a noob trap, not the plan. Oh, I made that. Yeah, for sure. Because I was so passionate about him, but I could tell he was just garbage. So I just, like, yo, stop playing this champ. Pretty much. He normally gets one big buff a season. Then he's strong for like 14 days and then they nerf him. He could, he used to be able to solo Baron at the start of this season. We need to get level six ASAP. That, when Renekin killed us, it really messed up our clear. Big time. We should hit level six here, pre 730 ish. As long as you hit it before 730, you're in a decent spot. And that's we're running out of mana in the jungle. We have 12 mana per second because jungle item. Hold on to my Q, I don't want to burn it. Alright, level 6, 730. Decent for a Moo Moo. That is okay with me. I want to ask you about Lich. Oh, I wouldn't do it on Karthus. Karthus can only weave in so many autos. I mean, I have my R. I guess he doesn't want it because the wave's big. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, they're just trying to cheese me. That's a big waste of their time. I wanted the gank, but I guess the wave was just too big. Still think we could have killed him. I ah, double warden. <clears throat> we want to look for a play with our R. I don't know if we can even kill Renekton though. It's pretty big. We can do it if we have Lee Sin. My R is a second and a half. Should be a stun these days. Yeah, this isn't gankable. Top's not gankable, mid's not gankable. Bot's kind of gankable. It's gonna be tough with the Sivir Spell Shield. Yeah. Man, a Moo ganks. Yeah. He's just gonna kill me now. Oh, buddy. I gotta go AFK farm. We're just gonna have to play for the pure late game. Renekton is one of Yasuo's hardest matchups in the game. I do think they outscale us even though Renekton only least fall off because of the Yumi Sivir and Asus. They'll scale pretty well. Play Shaco jungle. Eh. Eh. I haven't gotten down his red rap take. Like I can't. I haven't tried it enough to get it consistent. If you can't do that consistent on there's no reason to really play him. All right, I'll check it out, Fishy. Why have my ult on T? Because I have my attacking click on R. Just looking at the CS and the items, try to figure out what makes sense. Enemy bot lane just backed. They took Scuttle, obviously this isn't more. Ooh, this, they actually warded this. I'll just back. My R is on a cooldown, no reason to force anything. I think I'd rather have Rocket Belt, to be honest. I could just get on top of them. I'll buy boots. This usually looks like it's Night Harvester or Sunfire Aegis. At least in better top or jungle. Mm, about the same. He's kind of like an A-tier top, and he's in A-tier jungle right now. Pretty strong, man. Pretty dang strong. I actually missed that. Neona wants to gank top. I'll come over there. I'll leave the rest of the camp. We 
We're gonna need heal cut for Renekton. Oh no. Good thing we didn't have to use our R. Very nice. Renekton's gonna eat Yon and Yasuo. Those are really easy matchups for him. Nice. Good job, guys. I'm on my way, bot. We have a bunch of ultimate hunter now. We're starting to scale. Almost be like an Evelyn this game with the runes that we took. What's up, Cavo? Welcome to the stream, dude. I don't even want the kill on Yumi. I just want the assist for the ultimate hunter stock. Doing some damn. Ooh, what is she doing? She's only level six. Damn, she's behind. I want her to waste stun on me. Waste stun on me at least. All right. She. I'm surprised she held stun. I wanted her to stun me before I even hit her. And when we dive her, she couldn't do anything. But Leona landed a nasty engage. That's pretty solid, man. Can't complain about that. We'll we'll take those. We should really fight them when they. They come up. Got her spell shield. Ah, she's got Yumi speed up. Oh no. Run, 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 guys. Renekton's about to get a triple. Triple dipple. Let's get out of here. Is this a dream? I have never seen someone be good at this green it's, tampon. It's because the problem is, is his tempo. He can only run so fast. The tempo he runs at can only carry games so hard. Yeah, we can't fight this. Renekton's absolutely enormous. He also has played still cap, so he also is not going to do any damage right now. It's mainly just being disciplined, only taking fights so you know you can win. Even though, oh, wow, I missed that. Can't believe I missed that. If you only take fights, you know you win. You have a chance of winning on him. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. Thank you for the bitch just just person. I'm back to stream, lost on a cop. We see Renekton's mid right now. Probably can't kill him, he's full HP. I'll just give mid turret. He could most likely dive me even with the Yumi. He could take like eight turret shots and lose half his health, so. Uh, it's probably not worth. I would need someone else there. Looks like their bot lane's going mid. I'm still happy I didn't go over there though. Because I'm gonna die. I don't think I can save Lee Sin. We can only beat Renekton if we're all together. We got an AoE CC chain him. Our team doesn't have much AP. I'll go Sork Shoes, otherwise I wouldn't. I'll just get Morello for now. Morello's gonna be better if we're gonna carry this game. Yo, what's going on, Diana Queen? We have our R up, we have the rocket belt, which gives us magic penetration. Very nice to have. Mumu's other AP mythic item is going for uh it's going for the night harvester. Decided not to. Rather have the mobility. We can't force a fight right now, especially not like this. Only fights we win is when we're grouped up and me and Leona land all of our CC. I'll take Scuttle though. Alright, he's gonna chase. I really wanted that scuttle. <laughs> I tried to get it with my rocket belt. Not, not worth. Can't just be tight. Yo, D Schroeder, thank you for the 200 bits, man. All we're gonna do is chill, grab wave, scale up with our ultimate hunter and transcendence. 
We could actually kill her if we land our land our stun on her. Nice exhaust, you mean? <laughs> God. That's kind of funny. Good stuff, guys. Kenny, thank you for the prime, man. Welcome to the stream. Nearly had them. If I didn't get exhausted, I think I could have had it. I'm going to go for these golems. The rocket belt's got such a long cooldown. Shouldn't use that against your monsters. Ruz is a red. My name is not Dave. This poem makes a lot of sense. Microwave. That was a great poem, dude. Post that up on your wall. That was so good. I'm surprised he didn't just go in for the hit. I'm pretty squishy. You could dive me if you really wanted to. I might be able to do this. Leeson needs to go in first, though. Nice. If he withers you, you just kite it back. He walks at me and Leeson pinches off five free autos. I don't have to immediately close distance and stun him when he's obviously trying to kill me first. Our ult's up for the next fight. I think we kill Elise here. She's gonna go wolves. <clears throat> she should at least. Oh, I guess she's not. She should have. She guess she might have gone Raptors. She still may cross over. I lost my job as a grave digger, but at least I am not a virgin anymore. Oh God, that's a tough one, man. <laughs> that's not. Oh jeez. Maybe 100 bits, D. S. Schroeder. Mm, yeah, I don't like this. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We're gonna have to fight under turret. Wow, that was actually warded. Sivir stole the big one. We got the Renekton-R. Didn't get anything out of it. They should have stayed with Harold. They wasted their Harold so hard there. They could have easily gotten our next... Or at least one more Harold headbutt. We're just gonna have to be patient with our R. Wait until our team's grouped. Got her. We get pretty nuky this game. I'm hesitant to engage it because Renekton is just so strong. He's got Sterics. Even if I go and he's likely to just one shot me. And it's going to take my team anywhere from three to five seconds to really follow up. So we'll be patient on that. Wow, my E didn't land on the red buff there. We can go for Nasus here. I'll just leave the rest of this camp. Could wait for Yasuo. I don't know how much he's really going to be able to help with on this gank. This is not awarded. I'm going to rocket belt into him here in a second. We're going to E input blank range. Going to Q him. He's dead. Ideally, you're as close as possible before you Q on a Mumu, just like with any type of skill shot. That way you don't miss it. So that's why I like the rocket belt. You just get right on top of him. Ooh, there's Renekton here. Sheesh. I don't like this Baron call. This is so risky. If even just Renekton came, he could solo push us off this. Guess we're desperate though. I think we literally win that, but uh, only if we fight together. My R's up, like, 
my R is a fat stun. It's no long like Renekton can't even Q when he's in my R. He used to be able to because Amumu's R used to just be a snare and also a no auto attack zone. It was a disarm and a snare. I don't know if disarm stops abilities though. Like Annie could still R, Lux could snare when you had him R. Before that change. What's the reason NA? It's just a smaller region. It's like the same reason sports teams from larger schools are more dominant. And it's the reason why schools with uh, schools of similar student sizes compete against each other, not against the smaller schools. They're sectioned off based on size just because player talent. The better players you have, the better players you have, plus those better players get to play against each other, which makes them even better. So. Like, there can be rare prodigies from weak regions for sure. It's just less and less common because they have weaker competition to play against. What is the difference between Michael Jackson and a grocery bag? Uh. One is made of plastic and dangerous for children to play with. <laughs> the other is used to carry groceries. <laughs> yeah. That, that was a good one. There's still a lot of people who don't believe he did anything wrong. But, uh, I, I, I mean, you could say that you don't think he did anything wrong, but at the same time, you wouldn't want him to be babysitting your kids type of thing, you know? It's just one of those things. If you're a diehard, like, if you love his music, like, you're probably not going to want to think he did anything type of thing. Yeah, I'm sitting on a lot of gold, but I have a lot of opportunities, so I don't necessarily have to back. Why did the girl cross the road? She forgot to buckle her seatbelt. Why did the girl? Wow. <laughs> Where are you guys finding these? Is this, this is on like some kind of dank subreddit. Should I go Raba? Raba Sorks. Is this too greedy, guys? 600 AP Amumu. My R is doing eight, nearly 800. My E is doing close to my R, 500. 4% of their max health plus 12 per second. So if I'm on there for five seconds, I need Void Staff and. Uh, I need Void Staff and Hourglass for sure. I only walk around with gold if I can get away with it. Like, if I'm still stronger than they are, then I don't bother to back type of thing. Oh, there we go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, we found a fat play. That's why you don't turret dive when you don't know where a moo moo is. <laughs> if you don't know where a moo is, that's pretty sketchy. I can wait for Elise. She's likely to go red or blue buff here. Oh, what is with these random wards, man? This wouldn't even be in a bush. So now she's not going to come over here unless she's got some huge backup. So remember, you can go over walls, you can dash to any kind of enemy target uh, that has HP. Oh, this is Lee Sin, he's being a rude dude. I don't really need red buff, I need the wraps though. My R's on an 80 second cooldown, it'll be on a 64 second cooldown rank 3. We really do need heal cut though. I'm just waiting off at the side like a fiddle would do. If they over engage the enemies, I counter attack. Oh cool, this isn't worth this is free. What's the difference between king sticks and queen sticks? I don't call queen sticks daddy. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. It's free low. We're just gonna stand here. We're gonna walk with them. Wait for teammates, then we go in. If you're there early, you don't have to engage. You can just take a little walk. I'm gonna collapse. Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna back. Actually, they're pushing deep. We might lose a, a turret here. Oh, loud and loud and loud. That R. <laughs> oh, that feels so good landing multi target R's. I got fired from my job at the bank today. An old lady asked to check her balance, so I pushed her over. What? Check her balance. Oh, wow. All right. That was a punny one, wasn't it? That's like something you'd find on the back of a popsicle stick right there. Maybe minus the violence, but similar. Let me, let me have it. I have a level three R, it's only on a minute cooldown and it's doing 900 damage. Oh man, Amumu just takes too long to get going. That's why he's so inconsistent. You have to not die and you gotta just slowly scale up. I love Rocket Belt though. My R was still on a cooldown. I didn't want to get cracked. It's all about just keeping our mesh up. I have my R, like we can actually fight now. Oh. I just hit a minion. R's two seconds stun, and Renekton went, uh, he doesn't have Merc Tread, so unless he took Tenacity in his runes, this is a full two seconds stun. I don't like that turret play. I just want Dragon. I'm gonna go get Dragon. I don't want to be greedy. I think the 200 bits, just a Dutch person. Mumu is definitely a safer tank than he is in AP. If you're playing AP Mumu, you have to be very patient and you're a counter puncher like a fiddle R. You don't, you're not normally the engage. You just wait till the enemies overstep and then you can land a Q or just like rocket belt into them and press R. But uh, yeah, take a Mumu is definitely safer, more consistent. AP Mumu is kind of greedy. Mumu's still a low tier champion. He's better options to climb yourself out of low elo, guys. AP Fiddlesticks, obviously. Evelyn. Uh, Kane. Uh, plenty, plenty of great champions right now. Yeah, I'm sitting on a lot of gold. I guess I'll just get the Void Staff. I'll get Void and then I can buy the, uh, the stopwatch part, which is the more important part anyways. Team's a little over engaged. We have decent CS for Namumu. The Lise is really far behind in CS. She goofed up early. Lise didn't punish her hard. They're gonna just run away. We gotta go get the Nasus. Uh, we shouldn't chase this. We can kill Nas. What champion has the most similar kit to Nocturne for surprise from distance ganks? Uh. I don't know. Nocturne, maybe like a Rengar R. Or, uh. A Shaco jumping over a wall. In terms of a jungler point and click huge gank, Nocturne. I'd say bit Nocturne and Rengar. Rengar is kind of bad though. Yeah, Fiddle kind of does. A Fiddle, that's a decent one. Kane can kind of, but uh, 
So in terms of similar R's, it would be Rengar and Nocturne. Nocturne's a bit of a one of a kind in that aspect, how his R is just a point and click long range nuke. Pantheon, yeah, but it's not quite point and click. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Yumi got waylaid. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, big knot. Good game, guys. Well played. If you enjoyed this Amumu video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.